when a man and a woman have sex, and the man deposited the sperm or ejaculate inside the vagina, during the sexual intercourse, sperm cells are not going to the womb directly. No, it's not possible. But rather, when you have sex and the sperm is being deposited, it get to cervical area mixed with cervical mucus. From there, the sperm cells populate the cervix, the mouth of the womb, and they start moving into the, into the womb, to the fallopian tube, one after the other. For those men, that their sperm count is very low. Their sperm cells, when they get to the cervical area, they won't be able to populate the mouth of the womb. And there's a tendency that those sperm cells will die there because they won't be able to move and transfer their journey through the cervix to the womb and to the fallopian tube. That is why getting pregnant is a process. And it takes a lot of processes. When one of the process is missed, let me tell you, forget it. Nothing like I'm pregnant. That is why I used to advise any couple. So far, they told you that nothing wrong with you, nothing wrong with your spouse. It is better to have you go and do I you are because in I do I number one, sperm antibody that may be disturbing your organ cells to see your egg will be removed. Vaginal acidity that can be killing sperm inside you, will not, the, the, those sperm cells will not be there. Number three, when they do artificial insemination on you, the sperm cells will be taken across this, those, this region without, touch, without touching vaginal mucus, and we will be so sure as a professional that sperm cells get to your body. There are some issues that people say, uh, when a man and a woman have sex, the spam says state three or four days. Let me tell you, it's a conventional statement is not true. Every woman, half, every every woman, from one woman to the other, the vagina acidity is different. Those who have highs, those who have very those type cervical mucus, those spam cells will be killed in that area. So that is why I had advocate. I will advise. If you find out that you have low span count or you don't have good span count and your hormone is good and you don't know. After you've done every test, the tube is open, your hormone is balanced, your AMA, AMA is very good, and they don't know what it is. Let me tell you, FEMA TW may be disturbing you. The spam cells of your the spam cells of your spam will see your egg and just walk up as, as if the egg is not a gamma sex it's supposed to strike. If your indication is unknown infertility, unexplained, go and do how you are, it will help you. My name is Woody Adika in this summer. I'm the fertility scientist at Abim's Fertility and Gamma Banking Services, number 37, Akira Mistry, Tani Foshi, Kenya, Lagos. What do we do here? We investigate infertility at Abim's. It is our desire every day that all women all words get belly, bumpy too. Will I come your way next time? God bless you. Amen.